Sorry about that. We were talking about a Sunday afternoon fast. Getting the discipline of starting to fast after your Sunday lunch. Okay, so what happens? A lot, we've been talking about intermittent fasting. We've been talking about, you know, circadian rhythm fasting for the longest time. This is what I've been doing every single Sunday. And a lot of you from around the world have joined in before, but we're going to try it again this Sunday. You see, you enjoy your weekend. Life is all about enjoying yourself, but keeping the balance, investing in yourself, that sleep, that exercise, that nutrition, your emotional wellness. It's not about extremes. Okay, people who adopt extreme measures are usually always unhappy. Okay, because we don't have to be in extremes. Even nature doesn't work in extremes. There's a balance. There's a flow in nature. So what we're doing on today's challenge is after your lunch, you stop eating. You just stop eating. You're going to fast. Now, remember one thing for people who have never fasted before. This is not a competition. You may fast just 12 hours. Give yourself a pat on the back. That's great. That's great progress. The day after that, you may, you may fast for 13 hours and then maybe 14 or 15. The point is in today's challenge, when we stop eating after lunchtime, we're not setting a target of reaching 24 hours or 26 hours or 16 hours or 14 hours. We're just setting an intention. We're planting a seed in a subconscious mind that I want to fast my body. I want to give my body a break, my digestive system a break. It's been working Monday to Sunday, breaking down all of my foods, some of my favorite foods, a couple of desserts maybe, I don't know. but. I want to give my digestive system a break because by now all of you would have learned that there is no cosmetic on this planet that can give you the benefits that fasting gives you. There's no shampoo, there's no glow cream, there's no anti-aging cream that can give you that kind of skin or hair or glow that therapeutic fasting done the right way gives you. There are no growth hormones available in the market besides synthetic ones that can even compare to the natural growth hormones that you produce when you fast the right way, activating your self-protective genes that can help you live longer with a quality life. It can prevent oxidation at a cellular level. It can help you with your diseases. Again, nothing can produce those self-protective genes or activate them as much as fasting can. And that's why we set an intention today, at least once a week or once two weeks, once every two weeks, we try to fast a little bit longer. Now, the beauty of this is for everyone who's fearful about fasting, Get rid of your fear right now because you own the power to stop fasting when you want to. The point is, if you're comparing yourself with your friends who are fasting 15, 16, 20 hours, that's where your problems start. You're not supposed to be comparing yourself. You're supposed to be listening to your body. When you feel that, I think I'm overdoing it now, stop the fast. Or for some reason, you feel that your blood pressure drops or your blood sugar levels drop, stop the fast. Of course, if you're on medication and your doctors put you on a restriction and X, Y, Z, make an informed decision. Fasting may not be for you at this particular point. If you're on certain medications or you've got to take medications regularly or you have severely fluctuating blood sugar levels, make an informed decision for everyone else. Stop eating after lunch today. Maybe you have dinner plans and stop eating after dinner, but try to start planning your future weekends in such a way that enjoy your weekend. But you know that Sunday afternoon is your last lunch for the week because then you're going to move into this beautiful therapeutic fast and break it the next day only when you feel truly hungry. So like, for example, last Sunday, I finished my lunch with my family at about three o'clock. We had a really good lunch and I started my fast 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 hours. It was effortless. I broke my fast 26 hours later. It's been about almost a year and a half since I actually did a 24 to 26 hour fast that happened effortlessly. Okay, I didn't have to push myself. My energy levels were fa fantastic. My focus, I did all my patient consults in the morning, a couple of videos. It was a beautiful day. In, in fact, so beautiful, I didn't feel like breaking my fast at 26 hours, you know, but I needed to feed my body, so I did it. So my point is, whether you achieve 12 or 13 or 14 or 15, the good thing is you started. You made an attempt. You took the first step towards building discipline of ending your week with a beautiful fast to respect your body and give your digestive system a break. So we stop after eating after lunch. Now I like to integrate a dry fast with a wet fast. So what, what happens is out of my entire fasting period between today afternoon and tomorrow, I may be off water for 12 hours or 13 hours or 14 hours. And then I may start to drink water, but continue without food. So I'm still doing a longer fast. Some part of it is dry 
and then I integrate the wet part in it. So I'm getting therapeutic benefits of dry fasting as well as wet fasting together, okay? So the point is start. Start today if you can. Don't wait for tomorrow, don't wait for the next week. I like the discipline of I know Sunday afternoon is my last meal, so I enjoy my week and I put in the discipline every single week. A lot of you have already done this with me before. Today we invite more people to join us and just reap the benefits of this weekly long fast. During the week, yep, I fast usually 12, 13, 14 hours. It's dependent on how I feel. But that one long fast kind of adds a lot of value to your overall health and you may wanna try it. You may wanna do it once a month, great. You may wanna do it twice a month. You may wanna do it every week. It is up to you. Remember uniqueness, remember everyone is different. Remember make an informed decision. So see you tomorrow and I hope your fast goes well for you. Remember, listen to your body. Your body is always telling you what you should do and what you shouldn't do. But once you make this into a practice, remember that you own the power and the self-realization to know that I can fast whenever I want to. It's not always a struggle. It's always not always a negative feeling that, oh, I gotta fast. And the best part of fasting is remember, you own the power to stop the fast whenever you want to. When you're empowered with that knowing, fasting should never be a problem because it's up to you when to start, when to stop. Have a great Sunday, everyone. Until next time, eat smart, move more, sleep right, breathe deep, and remember you care, it's all about you.